Ladies and gentlemen, the story you're about to see is fictional. The names are often changed because the characters are also fictional. The name's Wyson. Inspector Wyson. W-H-Y. You get it. No, this isn't a private eye clip. The Lego City Police Department just doesn't have much funding. The time was 1600 hours on a cold April morning. It was a slow day until the case came in. She was a strange dame, pointed ears and solemn as the grave in a white gown. If I didn't know better, I'd say she was an elf, but we tried not to be racist or speciesist here. The most profound part of her was the big bill in her hand. Of course, I don't accept bribes or private payment for my work, but donations are always perfectly acceptable. Her claim was simple. Someone was out together. Dangerous chemicals sprayed from her sink. Ravenous animals filled her closets. Pots of boiling oil were above her doors, and 5,000-volt tripwires stretched across the hallways. She escaped by the window and through the trees, since poisonous snakes were on the lawn. She said she only survived on account of her acute elf senses. Stereotyping works, my friend. My job? Find the maniacs responsible. The first thing was to go to the house and look for clues. However, I met with quite a surprise when arriving. I'm Batman. I tried to get the Lego City superheroes, but they had other arrangements. We informed her not to worry, and that we would take care of it. I'm Batman. And after she left, we started to examine the scene. We found, after unpleasant entrance, that many of the so-called deadly devices were, though embarrassing and annoying, apparently harmless. Whoever did this was most definitely a fiendish character. There wasn't much hope for finding the culprit until we got our first real clue, an overturned plastic tile in the corner. To our trained eyes, the hidden message was as plain as day. The villain's hideout was in the Lego City clothes store on Main Street. There are few individuals who could have deduced the meaning of that tablet, though it is possible I am understating the world's literacy rate. The elf lady insisted on coming with us. Whether this was to see the perpetrators herself or just to get a new necklace, I'm not sure. Either way, none of us were prepared for the horror that awaited us. <laughs> yes, sir, as fabricated at the last minute as it may seem, the Clown King was, before his surgery, an elf of sorts, and the brother to my queer plant. Though to this day I wonder what past elaborate schemes the sod pair of siblings have conjured for this not to make a profound dent in their relationship, I suppose all's well that ends well. I'm Lego Batman. It's Why couldn't I have been in the movie? I would have been back in five minutes, and I would have been really famous.